Every single top producer I know has a steady stream of referrals coming into their business. This is done by showing their clients how much they truly appreciate them. Today what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down 22 different unique ways that you can show that appreciation to your past clients and your sphere of influence. The law of reciprocity simply states that when you give someone something, they in turn want to give something back to you. That's what we're going to be talking about today. I'm going to go through and talk to you about how you can show your appreciation to your past clients as well as to the sphere of influence, those people in your sphere of influence that would possibly send you a referral. Really, most top producers have a steady stream of clients coming into their business. There's a tipping point, I guess you could say, where a business becomes something that is based on referrals and repeat customers. We're going to talk about how to get you there, or if you're already there, how to really put some gas on the fire this morning. We're going to talk about 22 different ways that you can show that appreciation. We're going to start with number one, is making a donation to their favorite charity. This is one of those where it shows that you're paying attention. Do you have a client or a past client or someone in your sphere of influence? that truly loves a certain charity that they pour their time, their talents, everything that they have their finances into. You see, when you understand that someone has a passion for something else and you show interest in that and you make a donation in their name to that charity, it shows a couple things. It shows, number one, that you're paying attention. Number two, it shows that you're actually really caring about what's truly important to them. This one really goes back to the platinum rule. You know, the platinum rule is a little bit of a, an addition or maybe a little bit different than the golden rule. The golden rule simply says, treat others the way you would want to be treated. The platinum rule says, treat others the way they would want to be treated. By making a donation to a charity that is that they're passionate about, this is treating them in the way that they would like to be treated. Number two is personalized gifts that won't be forgotten. You know, I've thought about this. I really don't even drink coffee, but I've got this coffee mug that actually um, an agent, Alicia Kopp out of St. Louis, sent to me. Um, and what she did is, is she went on and she found this company, Mamagon, M-A-M-I-G-O-N.com, that personalized coffee mugs. They have a lot of other things, but this is what I received. She went on and she pulled some photos from my Facebook page, one with my wife, one with my entire family, and then one also with my kids. And then on here, it simply says, family, one of life's greatest blessings, where life begins and love never ends. Listen, I don't even drink coffee, but I'll never forget this gift that was given to me. These are personalized gifts that really, really kind of hone in on the things that are truly important to me, which was my family. And by giving that to me and recognizing that, that's a gift I won't ever forget and a person I'll never forget. So if you're wondering, how can I give a gift that maybe won't be forgotten? Make it personalized. Utilize social media to pull some the pictures, do something and have it sent to them personalized and I promise you'll never be forgotten. Number three is create a personalized jigsaw puzzle of their family or of the home that they purchased. Now this can be done, there's a company out there, there's a number of companies that do this. The one that we've utilized is Pictorium, P-I-C-T-O-R-E-M.com. Basically you send in the photo and you just put a little overlay. You can put some text on there, maybe like you know, their, maybe it's their home and it's like Jones family established and whatever year that they bought the home. Put a little subtle bit, a little bit of your branding down the bottom, make it real subtle, but gives you the ability to give someone something that they'll probably never put away. They'll pull it out every so often and remember you. This is very personalized and it gives you the ability to really drop into something that as the family's sitting around or maybe there's a gathering and they're doing this on their kitchen table, they're going to remember you. Number four is hosting a housewarming party for your buyers. This is a great way for you to give an opportunity for them to meet a few of their neighbors, maybe some people you know in the community, especially if they're moving in from out of town, or they can invite some of their friends. Two things, and you can invite the neighbors as well. This gives you the ability really to host the party, which is going to give you the list of people, which then you can follow up with after the fact and just say it was great seeing you there and add them to your database. It also gives you the ability to kind of be the hero because you're there celebrating them purchasing that home. Now, if you're worried about the cost on this, you can bring sponsors in, but in reality, it doesn't cost that much if you go simple on this. Foods, drink, invitations, a lot of it is legwork with passing out invitations to neighbors for them to welcome their newest neighbor that there'll be a party from four to six on Thursday or whenever it is. This gives you the, really the ability to go out and in a very special way, welcome people who are your clients and let them share the story of working with you. The next is right along the same line, host a going away party for your sellers. Now this is something where you would actually have the opportunity for them to invite their friends, their neighbors, uh, to come in and to just spend a little bit of time before these folks move to either a new neighborhood or even to a new area. 
This gives you the ability really to host the party again. You can pass these costs off on to someone that you have as a sponsor or it's not that expensive really, but it gives you really the ability to be there where they have an opportunity to spend some time with the people that are most important to you. Of course, you're going to get introductions. Of course, it's going to create an opportunity for referrals, but the bottom line is it's just the right thing to do to be able to spend some time with your sellers in a way that gives them the opportunity to spend some time with their friends. I promise when you do these things where you're adding value in a way like this, I promise this is one of those things that's going to help your business grow. Next is a painted portrait of the family in the home that they just purchased or that they just sold. This is one that's very personalized. Again, you can go and you can find a local artist to do these for you or Fiverr.com, F-I-V-E-R-R.com has a number of artists that are willing to do this for as little as $30 or obviously the more you spend, the probably the better the quality. But it does give you the ability to give something that is very personalized, something that will be kept, and something that will be of value to that owner that they are not expecting. Next is recognizing one of their child's achievements. Now this is something we're gonna do personalizing it to the child. We're gonna send a card with a gift card of some sort that the child would like, whatever that might be for that child. But we're gonna notice when it's a graduation, when they have some type of athletic achievement, when they have something academically achieved, whatever it is that that child achieves, when you notice that and you see it on social media and you take the time to get a card and then send a gift card that the child is gonna like, I promise this is one of those that those parents are never gonna forget. Next up is getting a landscaper for a day or a house cleaner for a day. This is specifically something to do for a buyer that's moving into a new home. Gives them the ability really to have someone that they don't have to think about this. First time the yard is going to be mowed or it's going to be the landscaping is going to be done, it's going to be done by you. You're going to have that hired for them so they don't even have to think about it. Also, maybe they're worried about once they get settled in, cleaning the house up after the move in. Having that already taken care of them for them is something where you give them some ease. When you ease the stress for them, I promise they're going to ease the stress for you in the future. Next is a personalized wood cutting board. You know, I use cutting boards more and more these days. I was using one last night, and as I was thinking about preparing this video, I was thinking, wow, this is something where these personalized wood cutting boards would really make a big difference. This is something where you can put some branding, or even if it's established, you know, where it's like the Smith family home established, and it's something that marks a time where they moved into the house, or when they sold a house, or whatever it was. By doing this, it's something that they'll keep with them, they'll use, and as every time they pull it out, they're going to be thinking about you. There's a couple places that you can actually find this as well. There are a number of these companies that actually do this, but the one we've used is personalizationmall.com and they have a whole section on cutting boards. If you go in there, I promise you're going to find the perfect one for those perfect clients of yours. Number 10 is a home anniversary cake. Just about every supermarket now has the ability in their bakery section to take and actually take a photo and put it on top of a cake. This could be a photo of the um, buyers or when they bought their house at the closing. This could be a, just a photo of the house. Whatever it is, just something that would actually be personalized to their home. This gives you the ability really to surprise them. Most people don't celebrate the anniversary date of when their home was bought. By showing up and providing them with a cake, something that they can celebrate, this is one of those, again, where you're never going to be forgotten because that date now means something to them. Number 11 is systemizing your follow-up through a program like Send Out Cards. Sendoutcards.com actually has where you could send in your handwriting. It'll basically use a machine to make it look like it's a handwritten note that you can set up in years in advance. So you could set up literally where they would be delivered a cake or some cookies or just a card on the anniversary of the purchase of their home or just checking in type things. This is a great way to really take and systemize your follow-up to make sure that you stay in touch with them and you don't drop the ball. Number 11 is having a family photography day. This is where you would hire a photographer. You would set times where your clients, your past clients, or your sphere of influence could come get family photos done. Most photographers are willing to do this by providing one photo with the ability to possibly sell photos to them as they want additional photos. Also, if you had to pay for the photographer, again, you can go and you can get sponsors. We've got a number of people that do this in a big way, and this is a way really to at least have one touch point with that sphere of influence where you're inviting them, even if they don't take advantage of them. You've got another opportunity opportunity where you've added value or offered to add value to those past clients. Next up right along those lines is a pet photography day. We've actually got some folks, Molly Slagle does this, I believe Sierra Reed does this as well, where they have a photographer that comes in and they have a day where the folks can get pictures of their pets or they can get pictures with their pets. 
Uh, this is something that is a little bit different, but really makes you stand out. They're doing these typically in their farm areas where they've got something set up. Again, the photographer can be paid for up front or can be done where they give a certain number or one photo and then they have the ability to sell to those. You won't have any problem finding partners there that will really want to work with you. But this is a great way to do something for people when pets are one of the most important things to a lot of people. Now there is a pre-Thanksgiving pie day. This is one I got from Heidi Harris out of Raleigh, North Carolina, where she has on the Tuesday before, she has all of her clients sign up. She provides a pie. They pick those pies up on the Tuesday before Thanksgiving. That way when they're sitting around with their family, they always remember them. It's a great way to spend a little time with people, have something that's set up where you're giving something because as we talked about at the beginning, that law of reciprocity begins to work. But it's just a great time when you're right around the Thanksgiving holiday time to take the time to say, listen, I'm really thankful for a few things this year and immediately as a past client, you came to mind. Thanks for all that you've done for me. I'd like to offer a pickup time for you to come by and pick up a pie. This is a great way for you to really add some value at a time when people are really thinking about the things they're thankful for and to have you in that conversation. All right, next up could cost you a little money, but it'll have a huge impact. That's buying tickets to local events. Uh, maybe you've got a small, if you're in an area that maybe has somewhere close by, maybe a minor league baseball team, or maybe there's a wine festival in your area. Maybe there's an art festival. Maybe there's something that you're supporting, like a charity that's having a charity ball or something. By sponsoring a table and inviting a few of your, of your best clients and some people that you want to spend some time with, this is a great way to deepen some relationships in a way that you really can't substitute with anything else. Next up is to host a client appreciation night at a local movie theater. This is typically something you're gonna to wanna to do with a maybe a family movie or something where you would involve families. Uh, this is where you can go in and you can actually book a time, block out that time, and especially if they've got a theater that maybe has some extra seats, they love doing these types of things. It actually costs you less than you would think. But it does give you the ability also to bring sponsors in. The popcorn's um, sponsored by, the drinks are sponsored by, whatever you'd like to do. This is also a great way to bring in a sense of community with all of those folks that are in your sphere of influence and that are past clients. By bringing that group together, it does give you the ability to share some time with groups of people that appreciate, that know how much you appreciate them. And by seeing that that's on a bigger scale, I promise they're going to be thinking about opportunities to share your name with others. Next up is sending fresh cut flowers to celebrate special occasions. Social media does a great job for us to let us know when special occasions are coming up. Maybe you see one of your past clients saying, can't wait for graduation this weekend. Can't wait for celebrating my husband's birthday or my family's special occasion or something that's happening in their lives that they're celebrating. By taking the time and in advance ordering some fresh cut flowers to be delivered, simply saying something along the lines of, I hope this is a great weekend. Hope these flowers help make this even more special. By doing Doing, doing something that's personalized. It really does set you apart because now it gives you something where you're noticing who they are, you're noticing what's important to them, and you're providing some value in a time where they're celebrating. Next up is buying a membership to a local organization for a buyer that's moving into the area. This could be a museum. This could be a charity that has functions on an annual basis. This could be an art gallery. It could be just something. Maybe it's a local, uh, maybe it's a local troupe that does uh, performance. Whatever it is, if you find something that's local that maybe Maybe someone would enjoy having a membership to. By giving them a one-year membership, you're really helping them find their place in the community. You're giving them something to look forward to. It's a great way also to support some local organizations in a way that gets them an extra set of eyes and possibly someone that becomes involved in their organization that's just moved to the area. Next up is providing babysitting services for a date night. Uh, listen, one of the things after a moving experience that's really a stressful on people when they're doing this, and especially couples is, is to provide maybe a babysitter for one night so that they can go out. Now you can enhance this. You could provide dinner and maybe a gift card to a specific place or maybe movie tickets or whatever it might be. A lot of times a date night is just what the doctor ordered after moving into a new house. By providing that babysitter service and giving them the opportunity to do this, I promise you're never going to be forgotten. Next up is a personalized chef for your buyers. Imagine a couple that moves into a house. They've got this great house and you said, hey, what I'd love to do is, is to provide a personal chef that will come in and cook dinner for you, two couples that are friends of yours, and my, my wife and myself. Now you've got an opportunity to sit down with eight people and really spend some time, true time there. We build a relationship around a table, so if we take the time to have two of their favorite couples along with you and your spouse, I promise you're going to build deeper and better relationships. 
Next is providing a bag with a lot of local branded products. Now, I love doing this. We're in a coastal market. 30A is the brand that's around here. I provide them with a beach bag. This is one of the things that we used to do. And provide them with a beach bag. And then I would have some of the personalized t-shirts that had the 30A logo. Then I would provide maybe some of the coffee mug that had the 30A logo. Or I'd do some of those things. Whatever it is for your area, there's probably a personalized brand that almost gives them the ability to feel like they're a part of the community. Whatever that local brand is for you, by providing at the time of closing, a new buyer with some of these personalized local gifts, it gives them the ability to really represent the home team. Last but not least is the most important one, handwritten notes along with gift cards to restaurants or to businesses in your local area. Listen, don't sleep on the fact that just simply taking the time to handwrite a note and say and let people know how much you appreciate them, what that does. I don't receive handwritten notes as often as I used to. That is a lost art. By taking the time, handwriting a note, sharing with them maybe your favorite restaurant for a buyer that's new to town, maybe sharing something that is of value to them or that you know is their favorite restaurant, whatever it is, just taking the time to personalize your communication with them really does make a difference. When you add value to people, I promise the value comes back. Make sure you're letting people know how much you truly do appreciate them. When you do that, I promise your business can't help but grow. Hope this has been helpful and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. I specifically chose the video below for you because it builds on the one you just watched. I hope it's helpful and I'll talk to you soon.